welcome to Adam Home Cooking. Today we are preparing banana pancake. Yes, yeah, so these are my ingredients for preparing banana pancake. Adam Home Cooking style. I have my overripe banana here. So if you have any banana that you know you couldn't eat and is overripe, it can also be useful again for your pancake. I have my coconut oil. I decided to use coconut oil because I like the flavor of it. So you can use your cooking oil, olive oil or any oil of your choice. I have my ground rice here, you see, it's ground rice and self-raising flour and of course my nutmeg. So what I'm going to do is, I've already washed the banana, it's over, I've washed it. So I'll just peel it, put it in my food processor and blend it. So I'm just going to blend the banana. Okay, so this is the banana puree. I'm just going to put in my mixing bowl. And then I'll add a little bit of nutmeg. You can also add cinnamon if you don't have nutmeg. Or you can add vanilla essence if you have it. You also have ground nutmeg already ground. So you can use this one. I don't have that one so I'm just trying to grate my own nutmeg. I'll add this. And then I'll add flour and then the ground rice. So what you're going to do is, for the starch, you can add with four bananas. I'm going to add four tablespoonful of the ground rice. Four tablespoonful of the ground rice, and also two tablespoonful of the self-raising flour. You can use sugar in this if you want to, if you want it very sweet. But with this, I'm not going to use sugar because I don't want it very sweet. The banana is already sweet. So, after mixing it, what I'm going to do is, because I don't always get my measurement right, I'm going to try just one spoon and see if, it's, if the pancake is firm enough. Because sometimes you end up adding too much of the ground rice or the flour. You make it very hard. I don't want it to go very hard. So I'm just going to try a little bit for the start. Now just try this one and see if it's firm enough. So here we are. The little I try first is good. So my mixture is now good. Perfect. So I'm going to start frying my banana pancake. Just a little bit of oil in your non-stick frying pan. So all I'm going to do is to scoop the banana mixture into my non-stick frying pan and fry it flat. can just put a few drops of the coconut oil as at the side of the pancake. If this one is ready, you need a little bit more browning. So here we are, the banana pancake. Let's turn it over. See? 
looking just like pancake. And the kids will love it as a finger food or for a snack. You can, it can also be served as a starter. So here we are, our banana pancake is ready. As you can see, it's nice and firm. Look. See? So, banana pancake. Adam Home Cooking Style. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy.